Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Um to go grocery shopping um i have to go pick up a few things for the week and a lot of stuff that a lot of staples in our house that we just like to keep for the week for the girls and for me and cedric if we are moving you know fast paced for throughout the week we like to keep certain things in our house so that's what i'm going to go do right now i'm thinking about going to aldi's first because that's just like where i like to get my produce and then maybe hitting Publix because um, I don't know if you guys know but we're located in Florida right now and we only have a few stores like when Dixie Publix um, I like to go to Sam's or Costco's for our big bulk items like snacks and stuff like that which I'll probably do because um, we like to go to those stores um, because it limits our time to go to two different stores throughout the, the month we only like to go grocery shopping like at least once or twice throughout the month um, because of COVID and we don't like to go into stores often. Um, we definitely don't like nobody delivering our, our groceries. So we, you know, we like to hand pick our own stuff. So um, going to Costco's or Sam's limits, you know, us from having to go into stores. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm on my way to go do. Like I said, I'm going to Aldi's first only because I like their produce. Um, and then I'll probably hit a Publix. So, yeah. <laughs> I know I haven't been able to record a lot of footage, but a lot of times it's a lot of repetitive stuff that we do throughout the week. And um, I'm just mainly trying to just stay consistent. That's one of the goals that I've been trying to do this year is trying to be more consistent with certain things um, within my life and me in general like i just want to be more consistent and i really chose to be more consistent with what i post and um on youtube and just being more consistent with it even if it is repetitive you know it's just certain things that i know people will love to see um i don't know if you guys know but i am a, a search tech or at least going to school to be one so i know a lot of people in here um follow me because of that and a lot of people follow me because I am a mother and I am a military mom. So I do like to show you guys, you know, what that's like. I'm being very transparent with things like that. You know, it's not easy. Uh, so I just like to show that. And the only way I can show that is if I'm being, you know, able to record those videos and, you know, showing up. So <laughs> I know a lot of the stuff is repetitive and I do apologize for that. Um, but anyway, this week, I know we have to go on a mini trip to Daytona, which is like an hour and 30 minutes from where we are currently. Um, we have to go there because last year I booked a trip for me and my family and my mom and my dad to go for like a mini vacation for the weekend. And while we were there, they offered for us to go to this presentation. You know, at the presentation, they were gonna give us a $100 gift card and an eight day stay voucher to wherever, one of their destinations, wherever we choose to go. Well, we got that when we were there and the voucher expires this year. And so I was going to go search for that voucher. And I don't know if any one of you know, but um, we're at a temporary stay because we are moving to a different state. So all of our stuff is in storage. Well, I thought I had placed that voucher <laughs> where we are staying in, in some of, you know, some of my stuff, but I did not. And so I had to call them. They weren't trying to give me another voucher, but I was able to be very persistent. And I'm trying to tell y'all, persistent, persistency, if that's a word, gets you a long way. Because if you're persistent, man, they're going to see that you want exactly what you're there calling for it. So I called the lady and I was just like, you know, is there a way that we can just come up there and redo the presentation? You know, she was like, yeah, that's perfectly fine. And she was um, talking along the lines of giving us a, a free day, 
a free stay there while we do the presentation. I'm like, oh yeah, that's perfectly fine. You know, we can make it, you know, we can scratch off some of the stuff on our calendar for our busy week. We can definitely make it so we can get that free vacation because that is ultimately what we're trying to get. <laughs> we don't care about nothing. I mean, we would love to have a hundred dollar gift card, but we is, you know, I just feel so bad that it's in storage and we won't be able to get it until the end of the year, which is, you know, basically, the time that we would you know it's going to expire so you know she was able to work that out for us so um long story short that's what we're going to daytona to go do and then you know at least get some type of a break away from what we're doing right now and so i would be able to record that for you guys which i'm excited about because i just feel like i haven't been giving you guys just an, an enough footage or you know <laughs> anything exciting so that would be something that I'll be able to give you um like I said we're doing a presentation and we'll be able to you know chill out at in Daytona for a day or two so um yeah I'm excited about that um and I think that'll be good for the vlog but like I said I'm I'm on my way to Audi so that I can get the stuff that we need for this week uh like I said, I'm just getting produce from here. They have really, really great produce here. Um, I love all these. At least this one because it's a new one. It's new, newly built. And y'all know anytime something is newly built, they always put the best of the best. So let me just go ahead and get my little um, <laughs> quarter out. Y'all know how all these be. But they carts. You got to have a quarter just to get a buggy. Yeah. And see, this is what I mean by the produce is awesome. When I come into this store, I don't have to second guess. Uh, is it gonna get old quickly? All this stuff is fresh and it's least stopped, you know, frequently. So you won't have to second guess none of this stuff. I love all these, all these, man, what? It's one of my favorite stores. You know, the produce is everything. And see, look, this is why we like all this because they already had this stuff packaged you don't have to wait at the deli they already got them okay yes all these is done Whew. so now we're headed to Publix I find it so funny because a man he's seen that I had blackberries he's seen that I had blackberries and he was like you know, you should start plant, planting those so that they can grow. If you plant them now, they'll be here, you know, next season. And, you know, like that's like literally <laughs> exactly what I'm trying to do. Although I can't do it here now in Florida. Um, I know I wouldn't be able to grow blackberries within this season in Georgia, which is where we're moving to. But, you know, I do plan on planting and gardening you know on the property that we brought that we buy wherever, woo, <laughs> wherever that may be so i'm sorry guys my phone had failed but yeah so i do plan on doing that which is like i can't wait till like we find our property and where we want to move and like what you know so that we can get like a map out of like what we are going to do with that land and you know just things like that is very 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 um exciting and a lot of things that's here to come in the near future so i just really can't wait for that to happen um yeah so when he said that it just really i was like yes like you know excited but can't be too excited because you got to focus on the future and 
stay tuned vision towards that stuff that's what we're doing um i'm on the way to Publix. it's only one specific Publix that i like to go to because i won't be disappointed i am very disappointed today because i didn't go to this aldi's but i went to aldi's last week and they had these fruit bars and it's like a like a mixed fruit mango pineapple mixed with coconut um fruit bar and when I tell you it was like the best fruit bar I ever tasted and I was so excited to get to all these and, and get some more and I got to this one and they did not have it. So I'm kind of like in the dumps about that, but it's okay. I'll just go. It was it was all these near my school. So I have to go back over there and get that but this one did not have it and this is a new Aldi's I would expect them to have it but they didn't so I'm on my way to the Publix and like I said it's a specific Publix that I like to go to so it's kind of out the way but you know I'll make that drive because it's a newer Publix and they have everything that I would say that I would need um so we're on our way to go do that but y'all tell me if I'm childish. Am I childish if I don't like <laughs> skin on my salmon? I do not like the skin on my salmon for some reason. I just do not like it. And I just, I feel like I am childish because I don't like it. But tell me if I'm, you know, childish because I don't like the skin on my salmon. I love salmon, but I just do not like the skin. For some reason, it's just not. Mm -mm. it makes it taste more fishy so i don't care for it and when you buy it at uh, aldi's they always have the skin on there but you know i don't mind buying it because it's, it's cheaper <laughs> but now i have to do the extra work to get the skin off and i feel like i'm childish because now i got to do an extra step when really i could just click it with the skin on people say that it tastes better hey y'all so i have been um looking over my past videos and looking at the quality of them and with my past videos that I've done in the past I've had such good quality and um, that's because of the camera I was using I was using a Canon and now I've moved over to try something new which was the GoPro so right now I'm recording on my phone and you know I have a 13 so I don't know how the quality be I would see when I edit this video but with the GoPro, I think I just have to learn that because, you know, I see a lot of people recording on GoPros these days just for regular footage because it's just more easy to navigate. And, you know, the GoPro looks very good for them. I think it, for me, it's one scene that I was doing and it was in the morning time and I just don't know if it's how I edited it, but the, the scene just wasn't good. Like, I don't feel like it was good quality um i am i am transitioning from a macbook to a microsoft computer so that alone ruins the quality of my um videos these days because i just i can't you know i have to relearn something new so you guys just bear with me i am you know learning this new technology it is a lot along with my busy schedule so it you know it's just something for me to learn but i am glad and thankful that you guys are sticking around to watch my videos you know it's just <laughs> but it's just a lot you know so i have to learn that um as well as my editing tool i bought filmora um but <laughs> Like I said, I got to learn that because it's totally different from Final Cut Pro, which I still have. But like I said, a lot of my stuff is in storage. I don't have my MacBook. So I'm doing everything on my Microsoft computer, uh, which is new. You know, it should, you would think it would be easier um, because like on my MacBook, you don't have the copy and paste and all that stuff, you know. But I've learned that just by editing my previous videos, I've learned everything I need to know about the MacBook and now it's like I have to re unlearn that so <sighs> yeah <laughs> it's a lot of stuff that goes on with this YouTube stuff but I'm here for it I'm trying to learn it and understand it and that's what I was just thinking about on my way to this Publix because I did remember watching that video and I just feel really bad because I gave some crappy footage <laughs> but we are getting better and progressing so like i said before we are on our way to Publix and to get the rest of these groceries
and I'll see you guys there. So see, we just limited our time by going to Aldi's, honey. We didn't have to cut no, nothing. We already had it pre-cut. Work smarter, not harder. And y'all know I gotta come here for my coconut waters. My favorites. Addicted, like completely, completely and utterly addicted. Like the best. I would drink this over anything, literally. <laughs> and like clearly I'm not the only one because like literally there's no like not a lot here and like i would literally take all of these but i'm not gonna do that today i'm actually just gonna get like a couple of them only because we're going out of town and we won't be at home so i don't need that many but these will literally be gone in the next two days so that's all i need i don't i don't need that much i don't think i need that much i think i'm okay with this this is enough Okay, that's what I never understand. Why is it so much creamer? Like, comment down below which creamer y'all get. This is becoming harder and harder each time I come up in here. I don't know which one to get no more. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back. I don't have COVID. <laughs> All right, put in that bag. Let's move over to the healthy side, Pab. Why don't we? Um, this is hard, yo. Let me try this one. I hope this is good. If this is not good, I'm gonna be so mad. We're gonna try this. I'll let you guys know how it is. All right, hardest decision. Oh my goodness, I was literally there for five minutes. Wasting time. Some must haves. I've become like obsessed with like pear juice. So that's what I'm looking for right here on the juice aisle, but I do not see it. Like the only one I see is this Luza, which I might have to end up getting. Uh, that I've become very obsessed with it. And I'm just mad I don't see the brand I normally get. Like this is what I'm seeing. I've gotten this one before. I mean, it'll do, but I normally get the Lakewood. I don't see it. Um, that's really irking me. But I don't, I don't see it. But, this is good too, so it doesn't matter. But I love pear juice, so that's what we're getting. All right, so we are back in the car. I got all my grocery shopping done. Now I'm ready to go home and unpack all this stuff and relax. Well, I ain't gonna say relax because every time I go in the grocery store, I get motivated to cook. So now I'm about to cook something, probably meal prep for the week. Um, and yeah, so that is basically what I'm about to do at home I was I got my favorite drink so I'm about to be drinking that on the way and see that that um, coconut water it prevents me from having to go to Starbucks every day I'm trying to tell you because it was one while I used to be super addicted to Starbucks and now I don't have that issue no more because now I'm super addicted to coconut water and that's perfectly fine because coconut water hydrates you. I'm super addicted to it. I don't know why, but I always liked coconut mainly because when I was growing up, my grandparents, um, you know, they had coconut around and my dad liked coconut and I would just eat it like I'm like I liked it so now I like the water and I'm like highly addicted to it and yes I know that this is not for everyone because <laughs> I know it's not for everyone but this is something that I like and it helps me stop 
like wasting money on things that I don't need throughout the day. <laughs> and it's only like a dollar and some change, so. But these are highly addictive for me. Like I'm super addicted to it. So yeah, so now we're about to go home and cook some stuff. I haven't decided what I wanna cook, um, but I know I do wanna cook something so that I can at least like start the week off with a meal. I don't have to buy nothing. I'll have a lunch at my externship and I'll be like prepared, you know. Everybody likes somebody who's prepared and I'm just trying to be her this week. Good afternoon, today is a brand new day. Um, if you cannot tell, I just got out of my externship. I am on my way home. I have done everything I need to do today. Um, I was in a very long case. I did a, another spine, same as the one I did last vlog. Um, today we be doing a lot of those um, so yeah I'm very tired I've been on my feet all day long got up at you know got up at five just now getting off at 3 30 so it is Monday if I didn't say that already and I'm exhausted so I'm at the bump my music and be on my way home get home maybe take a shower well not maybe i am definitely taking a shower um i got a lot of unnecessary trash in my car i always keep water bottles in my car normally in the trunk but I went grocery shopping yesterday, so I definitely got them in my car. Ooh. My feet hurt really bad. I didn't wear compression socks today, which is something that if you're going to work in the medical field, I highly recommend that because they definitely help your legs. It just feel like my, my legs got like added pressure on it. When I get in my car, I always like wipe down everything my phone and stuff like that only because it's like covid and i just came from the hospital so I, I just like to make sure everything is clean um when i get up in here um because you just you never know and you don't want to bring i got kids i don't want to bring nothing that i got here back home i want to stay as clean as possible and like i said before um I think I said this in a clip previously, when we get home, like if we leave the house, we, you know, always come home and take a shower um, as soon as like we hit the door. So, you know, just to limit our exposure from any bacteria or anything, you know, we just wanna minimize that as much as possible. So definitely lights all lights. <laughs> sanitized wipes you know cut down as much on that as possible so i have my prindle as people like to call it it's a um press a press prindle it's not the manual prindle so i have to press a button every day and you know i always wipe this down in my steering wheel because i do listen to my music all the time so make sure i get all of that in my you know just my little areas that i touch when I get in my car up here because I do like to ride with my panamaric roof open so covering all these surfaces because I don't want to get sick and it's my job in the medical field like this is what I basically do making sure that everything is as sterile as possible um, so if you didn't know what a surgical tech was, you know, we handle instrumentation and making sure everything is sterile. So that's what we do. So now that I've done that, I'm about to be on my way home. I'm so tired. Sorry, y'all. I need to get one of them things for my um, car. 
where I could just hold my, my phone up there. But the thing about that is I don't be knowing what I'm going to use for the day. Like, I'll probably use my GoPro or I'll probably use my Canon camera. And, so, and like, for days like this where I just don't bring none of that, I use my phone. So, I'll probably just end up, I think I have one in here. I just got to pull it out. Um, you know, it's not safe to drive when you're recording. But luckily for me, I'm not even looking at my camera <laughs> Well, when I drive. I'm looking at the road while talking to you guys. So, that's that of it. Today was a really good day. I learned a lot today. Um, I was with a preceptor named Lucinda. Uh, shout out to Lucinda. She taught me a lot. You know, it, it's nothing like being with your own kind. They get it, you know. And I feel like when you come in the medical field, people just expect you to get everything that you learn. And it's just not that, not the case. You know, we come from a school who only teaches us the bare minimum. And so when we actually get out in the field, it's like a whole new world. So um, when you're talking to somebody who understands and who gets it, you know, it, it, it just goes a long way. And being that I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know everything that I need to know at this very moment, which is understandable. And, it, you know, it definitely makes sense because I still am in school. You know, I, I appreciate her so much and I will be working with her more often because it's nothing like working with somebody who gets it. And on top of that, um, what was I about to say? Dog on it. Um, you know, I come, I come to school on Monday through Wednesday and a lot of the times, you know, I wish I could just sit down and study because that's mainly what I need to be doing right now anyway. But we do have to get our uh, our cases done, which I'm almost done with getting my cases. So I won't have to come to clinicals as much, but I, I want to because this is my learning experience. Like me actually getting my hands dirty and getting in there and learning the information hands on. Um, but I do need to spend a lot of time studying for my exam. Uh, which is for my certification. So, you know, for somebody like Lucinda, who was my preceptor today, you know, she definitely gets that. And she's very, very informative, make sure she makes eye contact with me so she knows, so she can allow me to see what she's talking about. A lot of people do not do that. So shout out to her. So, you know, that was just very helpful today. And I learned a lot, a great bit. You know based off of you know I've been here I've been doing spine for the last three four weeks and you know I feel like I learned a lot today you know just like stuff that's gonna stick with me not just <laughs> oh this is what we use no I learned a lot with her so um, I was able to get in the shower um, spend time with my family and now it is time for me to do some studying like I said I only got now I only have nine weeks and I will be doing my um, exam. So I have to study. Your son, Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> okay, now that we prayed up, we are on our way to Daytona. Today is Thursday. Um, ooh, the sun is out.
broke my glasses. What you mean, huh? Because you were saying that because you want me to buy something. I'm not. Yes, you are. Mm. All right, so this will do for right now. Anyway, guys, we are on our way to Daytona. Like I said, we are going to do our presentation so we can get our free eight day stay and we'll be staying there for a complimentary um, day so that's where we're on our way to do i'm sorry if this is wobbling i bought i got like i said before i had a stand in my car just never pulled out to use it so that's what's going on so on the way there it's about a what is it like that? Two and a half hours, but we'll probably get there in like two. It's like two and a half hours, but we are going to be on our way there. I have two and a half hours to study for my test tomorrow, which is Friday. I go to I go to my actual school on Friday, so that's what I'm about to be doing. I have to study. It's like 175 questions. <clears throat> and yeah, so about to be studying. I got my coconut water with me stay hydrated the girls are in the back say hello He's looking for some mm -hmm. breakfast food. I want cracker barrel. And it's 11.22, so we made it on time. We're supposed to be at our meeting at 1.30. Um, so yeah, we're on the Daytona Beach Island. Um, Not Daytona Beach Island, we're on Daytona Beach, like, what do you call it? The boardwalk. A strip or something. Strip of like, Daytona we're, Beach. like, we're over here, so now we gotta find something to eat. We're early, two hours early. We're two hours early, so now we need to find something to eat and um, just relax until our meeting. So we'll check back in with y'all later. Can I get a baby turtle and then a water? No. <laughs> it's so cute. Mommy don't like reptiles. What happened to your ponytail? Your your puff fell out. She's what you been doing? Laying down. Oh. My mom fell, but we're actually here. And we're gonna show you guys in a second. Mommy, I really wanna get a baby turtle. A baby turtle? Yeah. Why like it. Girl. Okay, so guys, we end up choosing Outback, and we're about to go eat. It's something in our system we have not eaten, eaten today, so that's what we're about to go do. About to go eat some good food. Like a Learbird. Yeah. Uh, uh, chicken on the what you know? Ooh, look at this chocolate. Uh. Okay, so guys, I figured we'd go ahead and do a room tour um, of our location uh, for our one night stay. Um, so let's do that. 
So oh, that is the room tour. Um, it's a nice size room, especially for a complimentary stay. We will be going to our meeting here shortly. I think we have like a good 30 minutes before that is, but probably be sitting out here just watching the view until then. And we'll pick back up with y'all later. So when you come in, this is basically what you see. Uh, we have a kitchen, which we had in our last location, but it was not in this building. Um, so you have your kitchen, uh, oven, all of that stuff. Then you have your your living room. Um, this particular room, it has a one bedroom and a pull out couch. So this will be where the girls will be sleeping. Um, little dining area. It's actually pretty spacious for what we're looking for. And then I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys outside. We have a, 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 have a outdoor patio, which is pretty cool. It's nice size. This door leads to the main room. And as you can see, we have a view, a nice view. Very nice. I'm loving it. It's beautiful. It is nice. It is. Cool. Come on, come out here. And so we'll go to the next Mama, area. Mama, mommy, try to open this door and see what's in here. No, I will not. So this is the bathroom. Bathroom. Nice size bathroom for what we need. Has a shower. No tub, just a shower. It's fine. It's a stand-up shower. Has everything we need here. And then here is the main room. I like the windows. It comes with a nice little window. Oh, the bed the looks comfortable. I'm so, yes, girls, this is nice. I, I'm gonna sleep on this bed with y'all. Are you gonna sleep with us? Uh huh. <gasps> also, not to mention the lady, our concierge. She was no, so I nice. Candy. She gave the girls these gifts. If you came here before then hit that subscribe button and, and, and subscribe that channel right there hit that button hello guys so we um we're upstairs doing a presentation um but um halfway through the presentation the girls started getting a little antsy and that's because they haven't taken a nap today. Um, and I haven't eaten today at all. I know we got out back, but I just, we got all of that stuff to go and I wasn't able to uh, eat my food because we had to make it upstairs to the presentation. So that's what I'm doing here. So I got loaded mash, which is one of my favorites. And I got a steak, which I already started eating and some broccoli. And I'm drinking this down with a water. Also, while I'm eating, I thought I would go ahead and tell you guys a little bit of where we are and what hotel we're in, just in case you guys wanted to visit and do one of these presentations so that you can get a free trip. Um, we are at Diamond Resort in Daytona. Um, I, they have diamond resorts everywhere. You can go there and they will offer you a free presentation so that you can get a free trip or um, a gift card with money on it. Basically what they're trying to do is get you to join their resort package team to go to basically get points to travel the world at any of their <laughs> at any of their uh, resorts or hotels and they just teamed up with Hilton um so they're combined and you're able to go to any of the diamond resorts or you can go to a Hilton um hotel all around 
they do partner up with other hotels like women and um, other other hotels around the world so that's what we're doing here and yeah so <laughs> we did the presentation we're at what is this hotel Daytona Beach Regency is where we're staying currently. This is the building where they do the presentations up on the top floor. So we were able to get a courtesy stay at this hotel so that we can do the presentation today. Um, we will be leaving early tomorrow, like around three or four, because we do have to make it back over to Tampa so that I can be able to go to school and take my test and so that CJ can finish his um stuff for work um around about three free vac three paid and full um travel things just because we signed up and everything plus a hundred dollar gift card um with uh with yeah plus a hundred dollar gift card to eat food so so that's cool we have all of that so now we we are excited because we have vacations that's already booked out for us we can take that either this year or next and that's exciting you know because who doesn't want to travel but I, we have on our swimsuits we're about to be on our way down to um the jacuzzi, the jacuzzi. Well, we have me and cj getting the jacuzzi i think the girls are going to go swimming in the pool which is fine um but we basically came here and we conquered everything we needed to do we uh did plus our more. meeting plus more we got more than what we were expecting to get which is great so we did everything we needed to do now it's time to chill for the next couple of hours got our swimsuits on Sensual shit, count some money too, bust a joke too, shit driving the highway too. Still, just another day in the bay. These hoes can't control, she do exactly what I say. I pick my moves precisely, I can never do retrace. I need a ocean filler with an outdoor brunch space. Just another day in the bay. These hoes can't control, she do exactly what I say I pick my moves precisely, I can never do retrace I need a ocean villa with an outdoor brunch space Okay, it's just another day up in my space I made a nice little stack before noon, damn I need a break These hoes they get so choosy, but this money can't be replaced And if she getting moody, she can go deep just like Chase I be killing this music, shit so exclusive If CJ had something to do with, just know it had his included This money talk to them fluent, I stack money taller students It's real, call your bands, it's true and stop yeah. the cap, I'm yeah. giving us new ones Money talk, bullshit walk, what's your language? I can tell we ain't the same If she is, see it clear, shorty chose Obvious you ain't the main Took some patience just to do this I'm digging blueprint, building straight up from the ground Why smash your hoe in the bay? Roll up some fun, she down on her knees like a nun Chosen one in the sun, absorbing life Charging up for another day Pull side, blunted mouth, baby swimming Trying to hang on to my waves If I said it, then believe it You guys, so I hope y'all can hear me, but this is the end of the vlog. Um, gonna go pick up with you guys next vlog. We'll see you. Um, we're about to go back to the jacuzzi and spend more time with my family um, with our mini little trip to Daytona. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and please give my um, video a big thumbs up, a like, and please comment subscribe to my channel share my videos to others that you think might like it i would greatly appreciate it and i definitely thank you guys for watching i'll see you in my next one